beautiful weather, beautiful day, beautiful people. Look at them pair. Oi oi, couple of sex gods. Oh, not him. Nah. 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 Am I a Chelsea fan? No. No, I'm not. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your trophies. Oh, no, wait. We're having a big selfie. Yeah, Come on, Charlie, get it. Good morning. How are we? Hope we're well. Watford's back, everyone. International break is over. I'm bloody over the moon about it. Football is here. Pissing down with rain, it's exactly what we want, and we welcome Burnley to Vicarage Road today. Um, look, I'm really confident going into today's game. Um, I think we, uh, we've we got a real decent chance to make a, make a push now and, and try and get some wins under our, uh, under our belt. Fantastic result against Norwich uh, on a Friday night. I couldn't be there, so I've missed the first win of the season. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed um, I'm not blamed... Uh, for today's results if it was to go uh, a certain way. But anyway, we're not even going to talk about that because that's not going to happen. We are going to win. Troy's going to be back. Looks like Saar could be back. And he's, there's a player that I'm really desperate to see. I've seen him a couple of times in the, in the League Cup. But for some reason, I just don't know why, he's, he's not getting a game. And I know he's, he's had uh, injuries uh, recently. So uh, it looks like, according to uh, the powers that be, that he is fit and well. So hopefully we can see him today. Sean Dyche is going to bring uh, his same old anti-football to Vicarage Road. We know that. We know what to expect from Burnley. But fingers crossed we can uh, we can deal with him and deal with them bloody lumpers and try and uh, try and get three points. So I'm off. Going to go to the pub. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll catch up and see what's going to happen today. Come on, you ones! One quick thing as well I forgot to mention. Uh, you need to buy today's match day programme. Page 69. Might recognise someone. Not saying who. Okay, so what are you going to Just check on his answer is. Finiga. Finiga. Could be anything he ever did here. Um, uh, let's have a look and see if you score that goal. Boys, go on, Leslie. Get your head on it. Go on, Leslie. Whip. Oh, fucking hell. Don't even want to say this. One nil to Burnley. Not deserved. Fucking hate oh. and they've just given a fucking penalty. What a joke. What a joke this is. <laughs> if it wasn't so stupid, it'd be... We've come up here for a corner and now the ref's given a penalty down the other end. Well, VAR. Oh, man. Oh, it's fucking painful. So painful. 
Well, be nice, Ben. Be really nice if you could. I'll deal with you lot in a minute. <sighs> dreadful, dreadful. Guys, I've got uh, not a huge amount to say to you. Catch you in a bit. Hi guys, uh, I'm home, which is great. Um, but to say I'm disappointed, not even disappointed actually, disappointed is the wrong word, um, angry for the first time in a long time. Disappointment's fine, you can be disappointed with your football team, but to be angry is, uh, is, is something else. And to, to lose 3-0 at home against Burnley, who, uh, let, let's be honest, nothing special today. Um, the same Burnley that we expected to turn up, the same Burnley that we're going to put elbows in, Barnes was going to moan and shit himself every time he got touched. Um, and that happened. Um, all, all we let ourselves down on was not being up for the game, not turning up and not wanting it and not needing it. And we need it. And it's, it's become a, um, dare I say it, a fucking joke now. We are bottom of the league again. Um, you say, the league doesn't lie. The league table doesn't lie. And we can carry on kidding ourselves that we're not in a... Or we're going to be all right. We're going to be fine. But listen, based on the performances, we're not. We're going down. And it's a fucking scary old prospect. Um, some people might say that they... It wouldn't bother them if they went to the championship. Deep down, I'll still be there. Do I want to go there? No, I don't. But I'll still be there no matter what, as, as most of us will. But we can't, we can't put up with these second-rate performances. It's embarrassing. And against a, a, a shitty, poor Burnley side today is, isn't right, isn't fair. It, and, and we need to look at ourselves deep about what we're doing with this football club. Um, the manager, for me, is wrong tactics are wrong and I think if something doesn't change very quickly uh, we're, we're going to find ourselves in, a, in a, even more of an apparent situation where we are going down so look let's let's be real for me the manager ha the manager has to go I'm going to say it the manager has to go it's the wrong thing to say I know because we've changed the manager so quickly for me Javi Glacier shouldn't have gone when he went but it is what it is so we have to um we have to look at that, which is a bit of a, a, a bit of an issue. Um, and I'm strolling the streets talking to you about this now, like a madman. Uh, and as an Arsenal fan called me the other day, as a as a 40 year old person talking to their phone or recording device, um, talking about football. Yes, I am. I know, and it's very sad, and it's, but. Football's a game of opinions and it's the modern world and this is how we have our opinions now. We put it on the internet and we put it out there. And for me, as a Watford fan, the manager has to go. And I know it's a bad thing to say and it's not something that we're all going to agree on. Like, comment, go for it. But tactically, nothing's changed. We've gone backwards. We've gone backwards. We're no better than we were. We've gone back. So we've taken a step back and we were already shit. So where does that put us? Look guys, I've had enough today. God bless. Please like, comment, share your opinions. I will interact. I'll interact. <laughs> it's not even a word, is it? But I'll uh you know, I'll get involved. I'll comment as well, you know, on your on your comments. So look, that's what it's all about. So please comment, like, 
Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. But for me, um, we need to make a change and very, very quickly because Southampton is a game. If we lose it, that is it. We are fucked with the greatest respect. Anyway, enjoy your weekends. Um, page 69 of the program, if you haven't already got it, uh, you might recognise someone. Have a read about some good times. Guys, love you. See you soon. See you at Southampton. Come on, you horns.